chloroplast chloroplast means green sac like structures green sacs are known as that chloroplast generally so chloroplast are different it means uh, depend upon that species of the plant okay so they are also they are visible okay without staining by that microscope they are very large compared to that uh, mitochondria okay so they are also double membrane like structures They are the double membrane like structures.
chloroplast. Chloroplast really lab that they have. Green sample structures. Chloroplasts are clearly visible under the microscope because they are large in size. Sir, I where it's explained this at all. Yeah, yeah. Malina? Ah, Malina. Ah. Chloroplasts are green sac-like structures. Generally, they are okay, large in size so that they are clearly visible by the microscope. Chloroplasts, so generally, they are uh, present in the different plant species. Okay? So, they are appear in different shapes. For example, in a green algae, they are having the different shapes. Okay, reticulate, discoid, and also spiral. Okay, different type of chloroplasts are present in that green algae. Generally, the chloroplasts are present in higher plants, in mesophyll cells. In higher plants, Chloroplasts are present in mesophyll cells. In mesophyll cells. Due to the presence of okay, chloroplasts, chloroplasts having that chlorophyll pigments. Cells, chloroplast having chlorophyll pigments. Due to the presence of chlorophyll pigment, okay, so mesophyll cells of leaves, mesophyll cells of leaves performing that photosynthesis process. Okay, so then this chloroplasts are generally so it is at a range, generally it is a length 5 to 10 micrometers length, right, 2 to 4 micrometers width or diameter. So that is that, uh, okay, chloroplast range, it is at 5 to 10 micrometers length and 2 to 4 micrometers width. Generally, each okay, mesophyll cell twenty to forty chloroplasts are present. Twenty to forty chloroplasts are present in each mesophyll cell. But in green algae, in green algae. In green algae, only one chloroplast, only one chloroplast is present. Example, Chlamydomonas. Example, Chlamydomonas, okay? After that, in the structure of the chloroplast, chloroplast is the double membrane structure, outer membrane and inner membrane, okay? Outer membrane and inner membrane between the space is present, so that is known as the periplastidial space. Outer membrane is permeable, but inner membrane is less permeable. Inner membrane is less permeable. Okay, so inside the membrane, flattened sac like structures are present. So, this flattened sac like structures are known as thylakoid. Flattened sac structures. Flattened sac structures 
आर नोन एज आर नोन एज तैलकॉइड तैलकॉइड इट इज अ तैलकॉइड सो दिस स्टॉक ऑफ तैलकॉइड इज नोन एज एट ग्राना ग्राना मीन्स स्टॉक ऑफ तैलकॉइड Stock of thylakoid is known as that gram. Okay. <coughs> After that, so inner space of thylakoid is known as the lumen. For example, it is a thylakoid. So thylakoid having that inner space. Inner space of thylakoid is lumen. so that is the important point so generally in that grana due to the presence of chlorophyll pigments so they are involved in that light reaction generally in photosynthesis okay so two reactions are occur dark uh, light reaction and dark reaction light reaction occur in that grana part due to the presence of chlorophyll pigments so they are involved in light reaction so due to the presence of chlorophyll pigments so they are performing that photosynthesis it means this chlorophyll pigments absorbing light energy convert into that uh, chemical energy okay so synthesis of the starch so that's why it is uh, convert into light energy okay so it is okay producing of that uh, okay light energy atp and uh, nadph2 so it is also known as that assimilatory power ATP and NADPH2, so they are that uh, end products of light reaction. So this light reaction takes place in that uh, grana part. So this ATP and NADPH2 are known as that uh, assimilatory power. Okay, they are the end products of light reaction. So it takes place in grana part due to the presence of chlorophyll pigment.